find out what's hot and what's not. We watch your programme every week. Yes, that's right, it's party time again. Join me, Samantha Man and the rest of the Club Vision gang for another Boogie Wonderland adventure. On this week's show, we visit Golden at the Void in Stoke-on-Trent to catch up with Colour Girl, check Touch Magazine's dance chart and revel in Sweet Harmony at Eros in North London. Hi, I'm Paul Oakenfold and you're watching Club of Vision. <laughs> oh no, sorry, Lee Burridge. Stoke on Trent that's been pumping out tasty tunes for eight goals in years. Originally a party for owner John Hill and his pals, the night's success has continued to grow. The well-known saying, silence is golden, does not apply here. With a superb sound system, it's more like golden is, well, a bit boisterous. Golden's had eight successful years. What's the secret of the success? Um, if you want me to be completely honest, it's all down to DJ bookings, you know, the sort of lineups we put on. But we do, you know, get a really good crowd here, and we've always had a good crowd that follows, you know, wherever we've been, like in Manchester for three years and five years in Stoke all together. How did you get involved with Golden? I knew John Hill um, because they were they were bands, um, Yah Yahs and Ruby Tuesdays, and I used to like follow him um, through a friend of mine who was a resident. And basically, I just over the years, just sort of got more and more involved. Um, and then my first job for Golden was actually, it was a lighting jockey. And Danny Tanagli was my first one, so it's a claim to fame. How would you describe the music policy here? Um, odd house, um, odd house trance, um, tech house. Um, basically, we're not, we've not got one musical policy. We do change a lot. I mean, we, you know, we've had um, people like Sanchez on. Uh, then the week after Jules on, so it does vary a lot. To anyone that hasn't been here before, verbally take us around the club. Verbally take you, uh, come through the doors, pay your money. Okay. Uh, most important bit. That's the most important bit, yeah, obviously. <laughs> yeah. Um, right, upstairs you've got um, the residents, uh, like sort of more underground music, funky, tech house. Um, then downstairs it's sort of full on, like a big black hole, absolutely full on. I hear that the dress code here is music fans only. <laughs> Tell us about that. Um, to be quite honest with you, it's just a piss take really, because um, these dress codes are really sad. People who are into music tend to wear, you know, cool clothes based like trainers and smart jeans and that, so so how can you turn them away basically, you know. What have you got planned for the rest of this year? We're going back to Manchester on a monthly basis at Planet K uh, on Oldham Street. And then also we're doing IB for this year, um, which is, we did IB for many years ago, but just did like on sort of tour nights. But now we're, we're doing a weekly residency at Eden in San An, uh, with Judge Jules as, as the weekly residence. to go clubbing? We travel, so yeah, far we travel, it, yeah, yeah. 60 miles. <laughs> what I do is we get a B&B, we, we get a b and in Stoke, we come to the club in Stoke, we do our hair, we come out, that's it, we're here. Oh, I do the hair. We love it. Up north people are prepared to travel. Yeah. If you like, you might be in the car for like an hour and a half there, an hour and a half back, you actually spend more time in the car than you do in the club. But in London, it's like any more than 10 minutes and you're like, ah, moaning and getting itchy feet. I, I, do, the, I do the driving. Where are you from? Newcastle. I'm from Sunny Stoke. Don't need to go anywhere else. We've got here. It's the bollocks. It's just a nice mixture of people. You know what I mean? And you can come. You've got upstairs, which is like a nice bar. It's 
sit down, have a Java chat, and then if I go to go and have a boogie with the glow sticks. When you're deciding where you go going clubbing, what's important? Who's on, the music, the atmosphere, the people you go with. There's no point going somewhere if you're on with the right people and the right people aren't on. You have to have a good night. So it's your first time here, isn't it? Tell us what you think of the place. It's wicked, yeah. I'm Lindsay. Gibbo. I'm Jill. How often do you come to Golden then? Well, once a month. Once a month. Once a month. Yeah. You know, brilliant club, I love it. What are the men like here? Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah. <laughs> you do reckon you do the hair? No, he I, reckons he does the hair? No, no, and no. you reckon that. I, these two do the hair, me and him do the driving. Yeah, that's fine. That's and fine. there's usually two others, but they're at home tonight. Are you looking forward to seeing anybody tonight? I need my boyfriend, which is a bit sad, really, isn't it? I have to say, my favourite DJ is Pete Brownley. Very coarse, it's brilliant. I like Seb Fontaine, who plays with Korean. It's by ours. Personally, I'm into Trevor Nelson. I think he's pretty cool. You're into Trevor Nelson? I like Carl Cox, but he doesn't really do much around here, so I don't get to see him, but I like him. I like your jewels and stuff. Yeah, and Lee Burridge as well. Excellent. Do you come to Golden often? Yeah, all the time, every Saturday. Well, we live for clubbing, basically. We live for clubbing, don't we? Every, every Saturday night, that's it. What are the women like here? Sarah? What's up, Bruce? My friend, right, was in the club. She had some um, pedal pushers on. And she kneeled down in the club and the pedal pushers oh, 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 split oh, 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 all the way yeah. up. And she's walking around with a big hole and she only had thongs on so you could see all her arse. Where else do you go out? Cream in Liverpool. Passion's the best, though. Passion. Red room. Yeah. Nah, 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 stick, with golden. stick with golden. golden. Stick with golden. Definitely. The music, the, the trance, brilliant. What are you doing after this, then? We're all going down to Mates House. <laughs> a party. Chill out. We love golden. That's why we're here. Golden, come on. Live from Stoke on Trent. <laughs> I'm joined by Pete Bromley, who's been a resident here at Golden for the eight years it's been going. You must have seen some changes in those eight years. Oh, many. I mean, when we first started out, uh, the vibe was totally different. And the, the last few years, things have really sort of toughened up. But obviously, you've got to move with the times in eight years. And, you know, you're bound to have a lot of changes. People have said, you know, the club scene's going to die. And, we're still here, we must be doing something right. You're quoted as saying you prefer being a resident, why is that? Um, I just like to, to come to the same venue. I know a lot of people get bored with it, but I'm not a big fan of travelling. I actually enjoy DJing, not everything else that goes with it, really. Is there one particular DJ you look, look up to yourself? Uh, not one in particular, no. In the early days, I suppose my main influence, sort of early 90s, Sort of 1990 was Graham Park at the Hacienda, and uh, I took you know quite a, that was my blueprint to, to DJ. Do you like to join in with the crowd? Uh, yeah, more so over the la last few years actually. At one time you could get away with just playing the records, and, and that was it. But it seems to how things have gone recently. Uh, people want a bit of more of a personality thing, which is mad because it's sort of going back to the mobile thing really at the end of the day. The music you play is is very broad. Do you think that versatility is important? Uh, personally, I do. Cause I I love all sorts of music, whatever. I, I don't. I hate to hear people say, "Oh, I'm just into hard house or I'm just into trance or whatever." I, I think you're just limiting yourself totally there. You were voted in the top ten residences yeah, in the UK say. by Mix Mag, right. alongside who was it? Seb Fontaine so and Scott, Scott Bond. There's quite a few in there. I uh, was really surprised about it. I didn't know anything about it. And uh, when somebody told me, I, I, I was sort of amazed at the time. It, it was from votes from actual punters, not an industry thing who, who sort of arse licking here at the time. And, and that was just genuine votes. Think it's stick with golden uh, then? Definitely, yeah. Uh, uh, maybe another eight years, I don't know if they still have me as a, an old man. This is Golden resident Lee Burridge. What's the vibe like here at Golden? Um, it's amazing, which is uh, why I asked to be the resident um, about a year ago, the second time I played here. Um, it was so good, I was a little bit drunk and it was like, can I be resident? And they were like, do you want to be? And I was like, um, yeah, and that's kind of how it happened. It, no, it's amazing, great club. Where else can we see you at the moment? 
Unfortunately, I get to play in the uh, the Bomb in Nottingham, which is an amazing small club, uh, Fabric in London, which is a, um, a very happening right now, um, and Cream quite often, a few other places around. How would you describe your music? It's awful. You don't like um, you don't like being pigeonholed into one sort of particular type of music, do you? A anything cheesy, really, you know, <laughs> obvious, just uh, all the big tunes. No, um, I just play me. Uh, you know, I go out record shopping every week, and if it's house or I don't particularly play that much techno, but you know any style of music that I'm quite, that I like, I'll play. Music's so twisted now; it's got bits of breakbeat, bits of house, bits of techno, bits of trance, and only the magazines want to give it names. You know, it's just good or bad to me. You like to play for quite a while, don't you? You like to extend your sets, even to some point when you actually kicked off the decks. Is that the passion for what you do? K kicks actually not the right word. Dragged, I think, kicking and <laughs> kicking and screaming. Now, as long as possible, you can. I don't know, an hour and a half, you can't do much. DJs that play an hour and a half, it's just all the big tunes and, and then they're off to the next gig and it seems to be more about earning the money than enjoying themselves on the night. So yeah, as long as possible, six hours, eight hours. You spent a number of years DJing in Hong Kong. What was that like? Crazy, mad, demented. It was um, a very interesting place. There was such a melting pot of people, all, uh, different people from all over the world. Um, and no licensing laws, so I could sort of I could play for ten hours and, and get away with it, and it was just it was very hedonistic at times actually. And that's where you met your partner Craig Richards, and you're from the hometown, the same hometown over here, aren't you? Do you think it was meant to be? Love at first sight. Yeah, it's been love, uh, yeah, love ever since. Um, we, we just share the same sense of humour. I mean, we basically met by cutting up some guy's shoes and setting fire to them so we've, we've got the same sort of sense of humor um, we've been doing this thing for about a year where we just we play literally one record each I mean last year there were there were sets advertised of DJs playing back to back but they're playing an hour and a half so they're playing ten records each you know we're playing we played ten hours in space one record each and uh, it's the one you played at the legendary full moon parties in Koh Panyan in Thailand what was that like um, yeah it's uh, again it's it's just the best experience you can have. I was standing on a beach, it's pitch black, um, and the sun will come up, and all of a sudden there's like 10,000 people in front of you, um, dancing in the sea, on the beach, on the rocks, uh, to the side of you, in the garden, all around, and the sun will come up, and it's just beautiful, and, and music outside just sound, it's mind blowing. It's, I, I don't think you could probably get any better than that. You'll be all right as long as you can get out of bed. You have a bit of a problem with that, don't you? No. <laughs> Um, no, I, I, I kind of like bed, but this year, it's all changed this year. I try and get. I mean, I had to actually get up at 7:30 the other morning. I, I thought there was only one 7:30 in the day, but there's two apparently. Like, tag, share and subscribe. Now this is Copper Vision and this is how it's done. This is Copper Vision, Copper Vision number one. <laughs>